Hello, so today I'm going to be taking you on a little tour through comic books in central London. I previously made an indie bookshop crawl video which I will link up there. I've been wanting to make a comic bookshop tour ever since. And on May the 6th it was free comic book day so me and some friends went to central London and we checked it out. They're all in central London, uh, the three of them are all within walking distance of each other, they're either in or around Soho. And on May the 6th it was free comic book day and that prompted me to get out and explore some comic books around the city. The first store we went to was Forbidden Planet. We went on free comic book day. We arrived half an hour before it opened and already there was just a really long queue and we got in and then 15 minutes later the queue doubled in length. I went with my two friends, Becky and Julia. Are you going? Yeah. Are you going? You didn't ask my consent. No. <laughs> this is not a okay. game. <laughs> and for all of us, this was our first ever free comic book day, so we weren't quite sure what to expect. We kind of queued up. Uh, the queue moved quite quickly because the mega store in London is massive, so they're able to move through people quite quickly. We weren't quite sure what was going to happen or how it works. We kind of expected to go through the doors, there'd be a big selection and we'd get to choose like a comic book or so. But instead, we went through the doors, there's these people handing out bags full of comic books! Ah! Yeah, they, they gave us an entire stack of comics. They gave us 10 comic books each. I was expecting one. So this is amazing. And it's not the same bundle in every single bag either. Like, I pulled mine out and I compared mine to Becky and Julia's and they got completely different ones as well. We think Becky might have gotten the children's one, but she was happy with it anyway. We got Monster High. <laughs> Ninja Toe. That one actually looks really cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, 17 Summer Blast. I hate image. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't understand. Loads of collecting. Oh, cute. That one. Yeah. Yeah, I've got that one as well. Oh my god. <laughs> If you don't know what Forbidden Planet is, Forbidden Planet is basically this small chain of stores that are basically nerdvana. So if you like like quote unquote geeky stuff, it's perfect. It's so good. It's just incredible. And this store is huge. Upstairs it's full of like pop figurines and like collectible figurine things. Downstairs it's filled with comic books. There are so many comic books and graphic novels and mangas. It's brilliant. The second store we walked to was called Gosh. It's right in the middle of Soho. It's a shop that's just got the most gorgeous displays and there are paintings on the windows and everything's just displayed really, really nicely. This store was also another free comic book day participant, but the queue was really, really long and we were already quite happy with our bundle. So we weren't really after like more comic books. So we just started to not to bother and just like enjoy the shop. It has some really fantastic titles in there. What I really loved was that they had a quite large corner dedicated to really small press, um, zine makers, um, just really small makers of magazines and comics and things like that. And it's really, really great that they're supporting creators like that. Another comic book store I visited is called Orbital. This was also a free comic book day participant, but I went a few days afterwards with my friend Laura. The store stays very up to date with what all the new releases are. You go in and the first thing you see are all the new releases and then you go in further and then you can see all the graphic novels and older comics. I really, really love this store. Again, it's got all these like cute little figurines you can look at and it's just full, crammed, packed with comic books. It's like when you go to like a record store and you just kind of like flick through all the vinyls. It's like that, but with comic books. And it's just really gorgeous. I really love it. On the walls, it's got all these displays. It's just such a great store to just lose yourself in. And like Laura wanted to buy everything 
and our final stop is the book and exchange comics. It's two stores right next to each other, so one is for secondhand books and the other is for secondhand comics. So if you're bringing a friend who for some reason is a peasant and doesn't like comic books, you can shove them in the bookstore whilst you go next door. As we know, comic books and graphic novels tend to be on the expensive side, and, and understandably so, because so much work goes into comic books. But it's still slightly out of our budget, so it's really nice that there's a second-hand comic book store here. Again, it's completely jam-packed full of comics and graphic novels from just floor-to-ceiling shelves full of stuff. It's got all these boxes you just pull out and you just sort of dig through, and there's all these huge numbers of titles. I like the little like tabs for authors that you come across. The shop has a lot of character and you can really get a good bargain in there. You can get comics for a couple of pounds each. It mostly stores comic books and graphic novels, however it does sell board games, uh, manga and sci-fi books. So those are all the stores that I visited in London on that day. Let me know if you have any more recommendations. I would genuinely love to go check them out. If you want to see what comics I got on that day, I will be uploading a May book tour video, so look out for that. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.